out occurred from process 4 to 1, and it was also constant volume. And so we can, all right, there's Q out, energy balance for that, negative Q out equals the change in energy of the system, which would be the final U, that would be U1, I'm going from process 4 to 1 here, U1 minus the initial, which we started at 4. So if we solve for Q out, U4 minus U1, again, internal energy of an ideal gas depends on only the temperature. We have T1, so we have U1. Uh, we just need T4 now. So we know from process 3 to 4, it's uh, an ideal gas, isentropic process, and we're using constant specific heats. So I can write uh, T4, uh, sorry, yeah, T4 over T3, that's the isentropic, is 3 to 4. So T4 over T3 is V3 over V4 to the K minus 1. Real quick, if I look at my process again, um, the compression ratio was V1 over V2, the larger V, and so V1 is V4, and V2 is V3, and so V3 over V4, that's the small one over the large one, that would be 1 over the compression ratio. And so uh, solving for T4, I have T3, which was 1273, and then times 1 over 7 to the 0 0.4. So now I've got T4. Four point five Kelvin, uh, and so now let's go ahead and get Q out. It's going to be U four minus U one, so we need internal energy at five eighty four. That looks like. Oh, 422 or 423, we'll go with 423, minus the internal energy at 298, U1, which is 20, I'm oh, sorry, 298, that's 288. So it's 205 maybe. Just approximating from the tables. So that gives us 2, what's that, 218? We have Q in, we have Q out, so we have the efficiency. Get a little space here. in first, 542 minus 218 over 542. The units on the top and bottom are the same, so this has no units. 